In this video tutorial, we're going to look at email marketing on a larger scale. We've talked about sending emails from your personal Gmail account or whatever to warm contacts, people that you know and would be expecting an email. But when it comes to larger email marketing, uh, using lists that you have or that you purchase, you really want a platform that is designed for that particular function. Now, what I have is a personalized version of Jmailer. Uh, I think Jmailer has proven to be good. I've used it for years and years. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you Jmailer here. I've logged in. This is my dashboard. And I'm going to go through the basic steps uh, of, of basically creating a contact list, importing contacts into that list, getting an email set up, and sending it. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a contact list. And I'm going to call this Cashless Future because that is the I'm going to call this Cashless Future because that is uh, one of the domain names that we are using. I'm going to come down. I'm going to click Save. I'm just going to leave all of the other settings the way they are to not make um, more work here. Now what we want to do is we want to import our contacts from a file. And so first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose the contact list that we just created so that we're defining where we want to put the contacts. Click Next. And what we see down here is a button to upload the file. Now I put this right on my desktop. And it's right here, Emails. So now we're going to uh, click Next. We see here that the email list is uploading. There's about 17,000 emails. And here we're mapping the fields. If you're familiar with a spreadsheet or a CSV file, you have these various columns. And at the top of the column is the header, the name for that. So this is just wants to make sure, you know, if you have the birth date, where are you mapping it to? The only thing we're going to worry about mapping right now is the email address. So we click that, and we're going to choose Next. We're going to start importing. And you'll see that as the leads import, or as the emails import, it's going to determine if any of the emails on this list are on a suppression list that's built into the software. You don't want to be mailing to bad email addresses. That creates what we call a bounce, and that is a signal that this could be probably a spam scenario. So one thing to do if you have purchased a list and you're not sure about its cleanliness, uh, you can use Bright Verify. I think it's one penny for every email that you verify. So it's a, it's a valuable thing to do, especially if you want to keep your deliverability of emails high. Uh, you can see this list is actually looking really good. We have not had one bad email so far out of 6,000. Now what we're doing is we're importing these emails in and then we're going to set up a campaign to send to the emails. And what I've done is I've already set up that email message. And just to give you an idea, Right now it's January 2017. We've had the presidential election in the United States. President Trump actually created his own cryptocurrency called Trump Coin. He also has put somebody in office here recently that is pro-Bitcoin. And so this certainly has created some talk and chatter throughout the cryptocurrency stage. And so in this email, what I'm doing is I'm using that relevant current news to tie Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, Trump all together. Of course, uh, we have some things that will show you how to use different power words that create emotion or desire. And you, of course, want to use fear of loss and other psychological motivators to get people to take action and click. And then you'll see here that I've actually given them a call to action. Watch this four minute video. You'll see that you want to make a clear call to action that's simple and not a lot of stuff. 
perhaps you've seen emails where there could be four, five, six different links. People are confused. They don't really know what they're supposed to do. So you make it very pointed. Here's what I think you could be interested in. And here's what I want you to do to do something about it. So I tell them it's four minutes. That way they're not wondering, oh, this is probably a 30, 40 minute video. No, four minute video. Click on the link. Okay. Let's take a look and see if our emails are finished. Yep, so we have imported 17,875, and you can see that there was no bad emails. So that's fantastic. Now what we want to do is we want to create an email campaign. So email campaign name, I'm just going to say Trump. Because, now this is just for your own personal identification. Now I'm not going to use a template. And then the email subject line, I'm going to put Trump will promote Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Because what I want is I want people that are interested in cryptocurrencies so that they're willing to take another look. All right, now I also want to get my email content here that we've already put together. And I'm going to paste it right into here. And then I'm also going to paste it in here. And you can see that with this line, this will tell you where to, back, where to make the breaks. Now, the link here is not hyperlinked, but it should be okay. When it normally hits people's inboxes, they're able to identify that. But if you wanted to make sure of that, you can go ahead and set up your link. And that's it. So what we've done is we've created this email campaign. Now we can check the email for spam words. We have a 2.4 out of 5. I'm going to consider that acceptable. This is good. You don't want to use words um, that are geared in spam. You know, if you were to use a word like Viagra, something like that, it's just going to get filtered right out. No question about it. Uh, so right here, I'm going to save and exit. And the last thing we're going to do is we need to send this email campaign to our new contact list. So now I'm going to put send an email campaign. And we're going to send it to who? We're going to send it to Cashless Future. Now we click on next. And we're going to send them which email campaign? We're going to send them Trump, right? That's the one we set up. So we choose Trump, just leave all the other settings the same, click Next, schedule the campaign, and there we have it. This will start sending in 4 minutes and 50 seconds. So there we have it. So now this will start sending out, and as people go to the capture page, the people that opt in, I'm going to receive an email and a text notification, and I'll be able to follow up specifically with those people. Email marketing is not dead. You just need to do it in a way that is relevant to today's technology and the way that they filter out emails. You don't want to do things in a spammy way. You want to do things with respect. You want to have an unsubscribe link. If done right with good sales psychology, it's definitely profitable.